CataractCoach.com. Do this to improve your vertical chop technique. And we have a video from an anonymous resident in India. Let's watch the technique here. So putting the phaco probe in the eye, it's a really nice looking capsule rexus, nicely centered, nice and round, good size. Have the phaco probe here and cleaning up a little bit of the anterior cortical material to expose that central denser endonucleus. And this surgeon is going to do a vertical chop technique. So let's watch this video and see if we can learn from that and figure out what we can do to make it a little bit better. So again, cleaning up that anterior cortex, that looks good. Um, hopefully the machine switched over to a high vacuum level now in order to achieve good holding power. Here comes the chopper going in the side port. And let's see the technique here. Buzzing in. Oh, I like the angle of the probe. That's really nice. Angling there nice and deep in that central nucleus. Making a little bit of a pit first. That's a very good technique. And then let's see what happens here. Going to buzz in. Hopefully occlude that tip. Achieve high vacuum. So there's the chopper placement. And then buzzing in with the probe. And chopper going deep inside there. Nice occlusion of the tip. Very nice. And the piece can be split. That's pretty good. Didn't fully split there. I don't know if the FACO probe really has a strong purchase on the nucleus. That looks reasonable, but let's try that one more time. Remember, the goal is to hold the nucleus still by getting a good purchase on it, and that looks better. Beautiful. So you can see when... The phaco tip was occluded, and that high vacuum was holding the nucleus still. Then it became a lot easier to chop. That's a beautiful technique here. Also keep in mind that sometimes you need some uh, more than one chop to really get it propagating all the way through. And an eye like this, taking out a quadrant first is very helpful because it gives you a little bit more working space. One thing I want you to watch out for is look at the post-occlusion surge. Look at the iris. And see what happens after the nuclear material clears the phaco tip. You'll see a bounce in the iris. Watch carefully. So buzzing in with the probe here, taking the piece down, and when the tip gets opened, you'll see a surge of fluid, and you'll see that bounce sign on the iris, like that. Watch again. This piece of nuclear material goes down, and watch the pupil margin. When it goes down after the occlusion is, is over, you get a little surge there. So the settings here need to be optimized a little bit better. Good technique, very talented young doctor, but we need to increase the inflow fluid or decrease the outflow or both. You need to have better balance between the inflow and outflow. Again, watch this, buzz on the probe, very nice chop technique, I like it, but look what happens when we take this nuclear chip down, you'll see a little bit of a bounce or surge in the anterior chamber. That iris will bounce a little bit, the pupil margin. And that tells me that we're, for a fraction of a second, aspirating more fluid than is being replaced in the eye. So the solution there is to decrease the outflow fluid and or increase the inflow fluid. So maximize the bottle height. See that snap sign? This is a good video to learn about post-occlusion surge. And so you want to increase the bottle height, young doctor here, or perhaps decrease the aspiration flow rate, or even decrease some of the vacuum level here, depending on what type of phaco pump you're using. So pretty good, taking out the last bit of the nucleus. This resident has great hands. I like the position of the eye. It's pretty good. Good draping. Lashes are out of the way. Look at the incision. The phaco incision looks pretty good. Nice architecture, nice square incision there. No chevron sign. Now, be careful as you remove the very last bits of nucleus, you have that surge going on in your eye. You want to make sure you're not going to have the posterior capsule coming up. So be very careful when aspirating this last little bit of nucleus. Maybe put that chopper in the safe position. So great technique. I'm very proud of you. You're coming along nicely with those skills. And take my advice on two things. One, adjust those settings to avoid this post-occlusion surge that we saw throughout the case. And then two, make sure when you chop, you have complete occlusion of the phaco tip and the vacuum level is nice and high. And that tells you that
that you really have a strong purchase and you're holding the nucleus very firmly, then the vertical chop will progress very nicely. Great technique. Keep up the good work.